Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Plymouth Argo career mode. As you can see on the left, we are quite comfortable in that 14 spot, but you know, from the relegation battle, it's, I think we're doing okay. I think if we could just sit in that spot, it'd be happy days. We just need to avoid Preston, Southampton, Palace in the relegation zone, and I think we'll be A-OK. -okay. With the first game of the last episode, we started off with a nice 2-1 win to Bournemouth. Happy days. We thought we can go into the Spurs game absolutely with high flying colours. But as you can see, we are knocked over the FA Cup and we're a 3-0 defeat. An embarrassing result for us, especially at home. Yes, they're a good side, especially with Kane being a massive threat, scoring the opening goal. But we had some changes in the uh, the older... Oh, hello, the Carabao Cup there. In the old formation. And then we picked up the 2-0 win over Fulham with the 4-4-2. So something that we can look into here. I can't believe really find it now. Where, where is it gone? Hang on. Let me find There it is. Yeah, 2-0 win against Fulham. So hopefully we can continue on with this new setup in the formation. And it's a bit more consistency in the squad. Because that is what we're lacking. So let's get into this episode here today, ladies and gentlemen. It is against Southampton away. N not a bad team. I think they beat us last time. Uh, I'm not going to try and find the information for that because... We want to jump right into the gameplay, but they are in the relegation battle, so hopefully we can pick a result today. They've only won four games. Drew 12, lost 12. Horrible record. As you can see, the pass just below them on nine draws, so it's a bit unfortunate for them, but it is what it is. So, before I want to get into the game, though, I wanted to show you the squad and uh, show you some of the Youth Academy players. Uh, some things have changed around. So here we go then, also we've got James Barnen going out on loan, approached by Burnley. We have got Connor Willis going up by a plus two, very nice indeed. But this is this is the guy that's uh, intrigued me and maybe a few others. It's this Jay Platt, 17, also going to go on loan, which is very nice indeed, so he can grow a little bit higher. But if you look at his development plan here, also he's sent it back two weeks, but considering this guy didn't have like the potential to be special, his defender stats look like silly. I mean, his physicals with the 81 physical there, Unbelievable. I mean, once you get that defense awareness up, I think he could be uh, a player we can definitely look at. Good pace as well. He's six foot five, which is a joke. He could be one to watch, so you never know. We've also got this Deli Ribeiro here, 17, 6 stick on loan. And nothing's really happened with him, unfortunately. Same with Ashley Phillips. Bit of a flop there. Unlucky indeed. Dejamas, obviously, is a starter now for the team back in the uh, lineup in left back. We've got Christian Montero here, 68 overall, but not by six. 17 overall. We've got Hugo Rarios here. 68 plus 3. Very nice. We have also got this Abu Ale. 18, 69. Going out on Ota Genoa. Very nice. Nothing gone out there. Albert Fiera. Gone up by a plus 6. 60, 72 overall. Sorry. Unbelievable. Ricardo Pizarro. We all know how good he is. And same with Delgado. Hopefully these two are the ones that I'm definitely going to keep the eye on the most, I believe. Isaac Miller, because of the formation that's set out, you're probably thinking, why the hell you got him trained as a left wing when I'm playing him in right mid? But as you can see, if I go for like left mid or right mid here, it doesn't really change. I mean, it does change, but it's like 74 weeks. I don't understand. I don't know if anyone can help me out in the comments here why this is the case. I mean, he's, he's a young lad. He's got good potential. He's got brilliant stats. It just doesn't grow really quick enough. I'm not too sure why. Maybe because of the form's okay. I'm not too particularly sure. We continue on here, got Kakari doing bits as per usual. But this is the guy, this is the one guy, Pedro Navarro, that we loaned out. 78 overall, gone up by plus 8, 18. Brilliant player. Maybe I was wrong about Delgado, maybe this is the uh, next Lionel Messi, both from Argentina. So you yeah, never know in day, you know. So we've got Paul Davis, still great potential. But nice to see that change. I don't know if it does that in this FIFA, I know it did in the previous ones, but it'd be nice to see indeed. As you can see, though, in the bottom right corner on the uh, player profile, his contract is running out. And I don't know if I mentioned this in the last couple of episodes. As you can see, a lot of players are on the minus four. So I won't show it on uh, camera, probably do it off screen. But I'll make sure in future episodes, I'll give you a quick update in the, on the contracts and see who's signing or maybe potentially leaving. Not good, but we can sort it out. But anyway, enough of me yapping about the squad, as we all know already. Let's get into the lineups against Southampton and see what this 4-4-2 can do with the team. Come on. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the lineup that we've been playing at Southampton away at the St. Mary's Stadium today. As you can see, the 4-4-2 is involved today. With Piero going back in the lineup over Butcher, just want to get him back in the team as he's been a decent player for the season when we are performing well. 
Now, let's have a look at their team on the left here. They've got Galino in the left mid. Still got Wall Prowse, the free kick master. I think he's got the most free kicks in the Premier League now, isn't he? Or is it he's one or two off? I'm not too sure. Uh, Sheb Paragko in camp and Furin up top. I've recognised Furin. He's a good player. He's no signing for that. I've, I expect this team to do a lot better in the Prem, to be fair. But they're clearly not as they are in the relegation. You would expect us to do uh, bits against this team in the relegation battle. But we do have a past history of bottling in that team in that position. But let's see what we can do today. Let's get into the first game of this episode. So here we go then. It is absolutely pissing down. The Farrakh Pyros are off as well. Bit of a Mitch match there. But I'm expecting a win. I know I say that every bloody game. You're probably sick of me hearing it. But with a team in the relegation battle. With a new formation on set right now. It's a bit more possession based. And I think that's what I need to do with this team. To maybe keep the ball a bit more. And play the boring type of football. And then wait for the gaps. Wait for the counters. So can we do it today? I'm hoping we can secure the middle table finish and then follow up into the next season after that. See what we can do. Come on, boys. So here we go and kick off. Starts for Argo. Us in the green and the white. And Southampton, they don't see... Oh, they are They are in the home cut. I was going to say, that really threw me off then. But they are indeed. The jam is on the ball. Cuts it inside. Daniel Piera. We find Paul David there. That's all right. One player that did really well was uh, Miller. And that's who so I I think we found his spot. There's a ball in the ball is on the back post. Oh, I was looking for Belotti, but it went there. Pajamas. But yeah, Miller played really well recently. We might have found his position on the wing. There we go, though. Chance here for David. Plays over to Miller. Uh, unlucky. Can David go to it? Gets the captain armband again today. Piera. Uh, pushing a bit better there. Here comes this shop, Renko. Plays it to Izzy. Oh, the hell did he play that name? It's a good ball inside to Furo. It's probably their danger man. Can we get that ball there, Cooper? Ooh. Unlucky indeed. Bit of, bit of sad news if any of the old uh, fans in real life are watching this video today about Cooper. You know, big boy Burton steps up in goal for us in real life, so hopefully he does it right. We'll focus on it today, though. We've got a good counter attack here. Look at this. Look from, this is all Kokori here. Simon Kokori. Oh. Shocking. And everything right, great bit of movement. Got a bear with Belotti. Maybe I should have played the ball day with there was a bit of position, but I got a bit paranoid that the defender could come across. But it's a good chance, but need the execution to be a little bit better. 20 minutes in, then I'll go look in the better team straight off the bat. Which is like, they got to happen this game, I feel like, at this right. Playing on the ball. Is it back in there? Alright, fair enough. That's ours. The Jammers, nice. Danilo, oh hello, shocker. It's not good, Kakari. Nice, well done. He will check. Can he play it down line? He can. Miller's all on his own. I think we have found his position, lads. He's doing dangerously things there. Blotty's in the middle. It's a good ball. Oh, and Blotty can touch it down. It's just got over him. Lucky. Oh, we want to back though with Miller. Good switch to Baldy. Lucky. We also converted Baldy into a left mid as well. As that's the position we're going to try and play him in. Seems to suit him quite well, actually. Well done in days, just won the ball there. Southampton throwing now. Will Prowse on the ball. The danger man on set pieces. Oh, they well done. And the game's kind of slowed down a little bit, isn't it? Oh, I've been dummy, I've been bamboozled. Alrighty, oh, what's going on here then? Southampton working the ball up, good interception from Miller. Now we can attack from this. Light. Ah, I thought he found a better gap there, but I'll just, maybe I rushed it. Maybe that's what that's, I did say. I need to slow down. I'm not true to my word, it seems. Just got that hunger for goals. Well, from Dejama's good deception goes out for a Southampton throw in. Pain on the ball inside. Just not let him get one for the half. Danilo. Throw him up. It's a good ball. And it is offside, but do not give it away. From Cooper, say they did find a gap, regardless if it was offside. I see Scalvini and Tibor check just need to get a bit tighter there. That is ridiculous. I, I'll tell you what, I think it's from the ankle, I believe, but a different camera angle could say otherwise there because that was close. Scalvini and Tibor check just need to tighten up there at the back, reduce that gap there, and we wouldn't have got that. I'll tell you what, Miller looks like the man to hit this game. Just switch out wide. Only one minute out of the Can we take advantage of this though? Tell you what, Danny Pierre was making the run. Head it down. Good header. 
Oh, lost he. Oh, we get one before the half. And that is what I was talking about with this formation. We can hold possession. We can wait the chances. And we saw there with Danny Piero. He ran up the pitch. It didn't lock onto him originally where I wanted to pass, but it locked back on. We flick it down to Beloit, Australia. What a run there. Great ball. Nice flick down. And we take advantage of a great finish from Beloit. He will take that every day of the week. Number 10, the Italian Stallion 2.0 steps up and puts us 1-0 before the break. It's what we love to see. Well done, lads. Come on. And there we go. Ref is literally blown at the halftime when they kick the ball back to start off the first half. But it doesn't matter. Great way to finish the first half. I would say it's been coming. I'd say. I mean, we had a good chance for Kukari there. But regardless of that, nothing really else. But we've definitely been the better team. And the one there at halftime is really deserved for Pelotti. I'll let you know if I made any changes. So, ladies and gentlemen, the second half has begun. And why would I make changes? No changes from me. We've been playing absolutely brilliantly. I think the, the star player to hit at the moment is uh is, is got to be Miller. He's looking really good. It's good to see him finally, you know, living up to the hype a little bit, I feel like, because he's been a bit slacky. But here can Kukari out running through the middle. Oh, run, this will be. Oh, unlucky. Just trying to find Blighty through. Unlucky indeed. We'll check the ball there. Galino. We'll check it back. He can't. The pass. A little bit of play from Southampton Ness. Low down from Danilo. Ball from Paul David. Can we make a run going there from the wing for Pelot? We hold it a bit too late. Should have did a bit earlier. Oh, well done. Lovely. There it is. Oh, he's through on the left. He won the ball back. Pelot is in the middle. Pelot is there. Pelot on the volley. And it's 2 0. That could be game. The wingers getting involved again. We've been seeing it recently with Miller, but this time it's Beloy providing the service. And the Argo away fans are travelled up high. Are going wild. Beloy gets his second of the evening. It's all Beloy that, to be honest. I mean, he, he made a mistake. He won it back. He's run down the wing and he's played the Beloy through. And the Beloy has finished that with ease once again. I feel a lot comfortable playing this formation. It's working a treat. Argo are on. Come on. Could Belotti be on for his hat-trick here? Maybe. Could be his first hat-trick of the club if he gets that. He's in good scoring form. But, um, Davy. Ooh. I said you said Davies there for some reason. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe because I watched the Bayern game the other, the other day. And that's shocking. Yeah, maybe I watched that game the other day and I was just thinking about Alfonso Davis. And uh, it's not, it's a jam. But watch, terrible pass from, uh, from our big Nigel there. It's a good ball, but it's a jam as well done. Good interception. That's it, just run it on the other wing if you have to. Do what you got to do. Boy, down to Tiba check. Could be on again here. Oh, look at this, we're battering him. It's just uh, Corey. Can he Bloy? Bloy's on his own. Bloy on his hat trick. He's had a shocker. That's a terrible shot. He should score that. I think a bro I think even my I think my man can score that. And she's had a shocker. <laughs> In regards to that, what a terrible shot there from Beloy. Alrighty, oh, let's get this ball in the mixer. It's in there. And just like that. And just like that, he has redeemed himself. It is a hat trick for our number 10. In Belotti. What's a header? I'll tell you what, the reason why I paused before celebrating because I thought it was uh, Scalvini because he's normally the one that wins these headers. How Belotti won that header, I do not know. There was two bodies in front of him, I believe. But it is just like that in matter of flash. 3-0. He's ran around the front post. The safe hand of the players have got to do better there. I'm sorry. That is absolutely shocking defending. A great header. Kiwi's got no chance. 3-0. Belotti with the hat trick. Well done, lad. It's ain't the Paul David show today, it is the Belotti show. Well done indeed. Everyone is just living up to unbelievable. They're living up to their rating, they're living up to their name. The wave fans are loving us. Well done. Oh, the jam was a bit of a heavy touch there. That's what we don't want to see. That's what we want to get rid of. Oh, we've made a bit of a gap here. Oh, I'm watching the search for Kukori. They've made a shocking pass. And it's not worked out well at all. Here we go again here. Check. Oh, here we go. 
Alai, can he play for his partner in crime? He can. It's not the best ball. Try to get one for a big pull there, but the pass was not good at all. But we are just running rampant against Southampton. They are looking really poor. And we don't care. We need as much goals as we can. Oh, and Furum has a shocker. You can see why Southampton's near the bottom of the table. Boldis just sent two to the shots. There's a ball right out wide there to Miller. What a switch that is. Lies in the middle. I can see it. It's not gone there though. Can we get it down? Unlucky. Still alive there. Uh, and it's going to end there. We could have picked another goal up there with Bellotti getting his fourth of the game, but it wasn't meant to be. Just didn't go to the right player. But there he is, look. Easily going to be the man of the match. Four attempts. Should have definitely scored the one with his and goal, but he redeemed himself, scoring that header right at the end to make it free. Definitely deserves man of the match and the match ball today. Regardless of that, I mean, everyone played unbelievable. Miller played well, Baldi especially, Kakari, Danilo. Brilliant performance. What we like to see, though, 3 0 to Argo. We continue on. So, ladies and gentlemen, the second game of this episode is against Villa, but at this time at home. Pretty big game this as as you can see, we are now in 11th and we are going against Villa. So we get the win here, we can get that step closer to get back into the top 10, which will be absolutely worth brilliant. But before we get into that game, we have got one player chat here and it is from your big boy, our starring keeper, Cooper. I'm happy with the games you're giving me, boss. Thanks. Boss, considering what contributes to the team and what you're playing, paying other players, I feel like I should be on better money. I'll be really grateful if you sit down with me and my agent if you take over the contract. I'll tell you what. We're going to do that right now as he is our starting keeper and he's one of my favorite players in real life. There I said it, I do not give a shit. I'll make sure of it. So what we'll do before we get into this game, we'll get into his contract and then into the line. So here we go then into the con contract negotiations. Before I throw, I throw like one of them in here, you know what I mean? If I'm doing the, the ones off camera, I mean, whoever should we do it to? I mean, then the big Cooper. He's the boy. He's the starting keeper. We've got to be careful here. He's important. I want crucial. You're our main man. Okay? You're our main man. You're here. You're never going to leave. My client's happy with that, to be honest. Continue with the, playing with the club. Right, so we agree on the role of terms. Talk about your length of your contract. I'm going to go five years. I want him to the very end until the day I decide and we win everything. And the series is over. He wants one. One for two. Two years. Come on. Except, yes, there it is. There it is indeed. He's got to ask for a lot of money, which to be fair, we've got the money to offer him big boy bucks. I mean, he's our starting keeper and he's a Premier League keeper now. Definitely deserves that massive pay rise. No release clause, that's fine by me. He only wants 14. I mean, as a manager, I should accept that. But, you know, I'm going to be, for all the service you've done with us, Cooper, I'm going to offer you more. You know, that's very, it's very weird doing that. But, hey. I'm a generous manager and I can see a talent if I want to see one. So I'm going to offer you more money because I'm a nice bloke. I'm a good manager. I want him happy at the club. So Cooper's on now at 20 grand a weekly wage in the Premier League. Massive pay rise for the boy. Happy for him to stay at the club. We get into the lineups. So ladies and gentlemen, into the lineups we go. I'm going to literally start with the same lineup as I did in the last game because it actually played brilliantly. And last time we played Villa... I believe they've beaten us. And with the team they got, it's very, very good indeed. With Rashford, Abraham, Serbia, Den Dokker, Kamara, Roman. It's a very strong team indeed. And Carl Walker in right back now. So it's a very strong team. I'm hoping one player I'll maybe wish to maybe feel like it could have done a bit better is probably Big Nigel at the back. I mean, I was playing well. And maybe Scalvini. Scalvini's been scoring goals recently, so I feel like it's a bit harsh to say him. So I'll probably target more Nigel this game. But other than that, Let's see what we do. Come on. So there we go then. Showcasing Andre Bellotti. Three goals in his last game. The man with the red gloves. That's got no coronation with the uh, colours in this team. I need to change that. I must admit, I keep bloody forgetting. We may need to get into that very soon. But regardless of that, back at home. You know, we've had some big wins here. We've had some small losses. And I don't know, some really bad losses. I'm hoping, you know, we can kind of stop an end to that. Yeah, maybe with Man City, fair enough. But with the smaller teams, you know, it's it's not good. Like West Ham, for example. We don't want that ever to happen again. Maybe this new stadium's curse for us. Who knows indeed. But one player to look out for this game is your boy that's in form in roll but for United. 
is Marcus Rashford. He is in tremendous form in real life. And maybe it's got to correlate onto the game now. So we need to stick tight to that man indeed. But let's see what we can do. Can we pick up the second one of this episode? Let's find out. So here we go then. Kick off for Aston Villa. Us again in the white and the dark green. And they are in like a burgundy shorts and a light blue shirt. Kind of like the city's home kit to be fair. But in the uh, upper part. The body good interception. Great start. That's a lovely dummy. What a dummy that is. That's unbelievable. It's a ball inside. Corey. Oh, I try to get the touch down there. But a great start there. You can see the 4 4 2. Holding it up. Overlap. Ignite. Get ball to overlap. Well done. It's a ball. Oh, I was trying to find Bellotti again. But maybe a bit early that cross. Maybe we should, we should have uh, signaled it to make him the run. Verman plays it to Hasjan. Back to Rashley Rashford. Tabby Abraham on the ball. Chris Rash was a great ball over to the side, but it is offside. I did think it was. And that's why I stopped looking at it, and uh, it was miles offside, I believe. It was. In... Oh, actually, again, a bit more of a controversy on the uh, the VAR. Don't know about that one. We're getting a bit fortunate today with the old uh, VAR system upstairs. We're not going to complain because it's favouring us, so happy days. Continue it. Corey, get that pass off over the lads. Paul Davis in the middle. I can see Paul. It's a great touch, but can he score it? He can't. It's unlucky. We could have shot that first time, but with the angle, it just didn't really favour us, did it? So we went for the touchdown. And with the pressure with their captain, number 38, he's put it over the bar. But you can see me. I'm happy. And I'm like, oh, I'm happy. You know, it was unlucky. From Big Paul. Oh, skipper. There we go. Unlucky. I don't know, actually. It might be a lot. He might have switched to captain. I'm not too sure. I don't know why it keeps... I don't know. Might have had a bit of a shock there. Siberia. It's over and ramp. Just don't let that boy shoot and turn. Oh, he's got through. It's a good pass back. It's a great save from Coop. That is why I've given him that bonus. That is why Big Stevie G's not happy. Happy? What am I saying? I'm thinking of Unai Emery a little bit there. Goody bidding. Yeah, my words bloody mixed up. I've had a shocker. We all know it. Vermont cuts inside. Back to Rashi Mearshwood. A really good play. Hit him. This is a horrible play. Horrible play. Great save from Coop. Up we go, Coop. Well done. I hate situations like that. Just, it's so hard to defend against the AI like that. It's disgusting. Yeah, for it. Yes, Jammers. Keep going if you want. There we go. Now we send the full back up. Nice. There it is. Miller's on the back post. He's calling for it. I've seen his arm raise. Oh, was like, Miller. Oh, my God. He went for the scorpion. My man thinks he's a little rude. Well, go on, that would have been, but unlucky. Ooh, that was close. It's a brilliant ball to the Tabby Abraham. Villa's looking like the better team at the moment, I'm not going to deny it. Going from two a check. Can we get up there? You can. Lottie, play out wide to Miller. The player that's been probably the uh, star player recently, I'd say. Paul Davis made a gap, though. Big Paul. Paul Davis. Ah, he's put it over to the. Oh, again. Unlucky. Maybe he's just having a bit of a blip this episode, but unfortunately, indeed, maybe we should have gone a bit closer. But it's an even game so far, but I think Villa's edging it, I must admit. I think they're, they're getting a little bit more in front of us. Bit of a crucial win this. Get this. We're close to getting back at the top 10, which would be an unreal finish for us. I'm just coming from the championship. Well done, for Scalvini. There it is. David, make the run. What's a ball from Miller? There it is. That's what I was on about with his form. Ah, uh, but David, though. I'd oh, have been inside there. And a bit of a stinker. Not a good night. But, um, ah, oh, ref, he could have blown on there. It was a good interception from Kikori. We had three players up already, but the ref blew it and cost us the chance at the end there. I mean, we've just gone monitor Paul David a little bit. I don't like to say it, but maybe Mr. Pink Boots can come on for him and showcase this game for us. But I've like, been a bit quiet as well. Need new shots in. But no, no, at the half, we'll let you know if I made any changes. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, only one substitution, and that is Mr. Pink Boots himself. Comes on for Paul David for Ryan Hardy. Ryan Hardy, hopefully he can step up. He's got a lot more pace than uh, Big Paul, so we have to neutralise that indeed. Here we go, though. Hardy's through straight away. What a ball. The sweat's on there. Oh. <laughs> but it isn't onto him. Oh, it's unlucky. Just gone behind Bellotti. 
Nothing against Paul Davey, much sad with the game. Just had a bit of a blip. Let's pull it back for a foul there, thank you very much. What can we do here? We're gonna go for maybe a, I'm gonna try a back post crosser. Let's go for this. A lot of power. He's in the mixer, Boldy's lifting for it. Kiwa comes out and catches that very nicely indeed. Easy catch for Peterson. What's he doing? A bit of time waste there, don't like that. No, I think I think to be fair, Villa were happy to take a draw against us. Terrible pass here, we can take advantage of this. Find Pelotti. Can we put it back? We can't. One more. Ugh. The runs are not there. It's alright, we've got time. There's a run. Pelotti! Pelotti! Oh, it's unbelievable! This is the Pelotti show today. What a finish! He has gone being the captain in this game. The strikers are orientating the captaincy ban, it seems. I don't know how that's happening, but you know, Tuku ain't making the glitch. Regardless of that, what a finish. We was very patient. I thought we missed out on the chance, but we found another gap with Belotti. And the angle was so tight, but he bounces it off the bar and the post. And it finds his way into the top left corner. What a performance this man is putting on today. Well done to him indeed. 1-0 at home. Well done to Belotti. Come on. There we go, 61st minute, 1-0 to Argo. We went it back straight away here. Unbelievable stuff. It's ball to Hardy, can he put it back? He can't, lucky. Oh, bit of a dangerous challenge that. Whether Zah has come onto the pitch, I don't know who for, I didn't see it unfortunately. I was distracted with that chance. It's a ball over the top, that's a brilliant ball. Ooh, close. I feel like if Scalvini didn't pressurise him there, it could have been a bit of trouble. Here and on for Piero, that's it. Get more of a defensive player on. Both CDMs were playing that centre mid role, that's absolutely fine. Can we get it out though. Oh, well done. Here we go. A lot of pace from right out here. Use the muscle, lad. Prove to me why you should be in the Prem. We're going to use Belotti late here. Oh, he's not made the correct run though, unfortunately. We keep going here with Hardy though. Oh, some leaving from Hardy. Ah, oh, unlucky, lad. Unlucky. I think Belotti helped him to be fair to trip a defender. Didn't get the right angle. What's another sub here? Could Karen for Butcher? here? Why not? Just orientate the team a little bit. No defend this player is on the pitch. Let's see if Butch can wing this ball in. He can. It's gone to Scalvini. He's the biggest threat in the box. We all know it. Unlucky though. That's going to be ours. What is there? What is there? It's another ball. The ball is there. Unlucky. What is there? That's not the best touch though. Not a good touch. I ain't got a lot. I was ready to bang that on the volley but did not fall for us indeed we could just gotta be careful here that's gotta be yours no I just gotta be yours make it yours oh he's missed it that's not good Scalvini that's it pressure him take him down well done ah oh, ref no way I know he's behind but you know yourself you didn't even give him a bloody call that's a joke I feel like I won the ball there you know if it's from behind oh it should have been street bench okay. Number two. Goldwalker's gone off though. He's gone short. Oh, the last pass this time now. A very veteran striker, but can definitely do the job. It's in there. There we go. Oh, this is a very questionable play. There we go. Well done, that's better. Touch. Good ball. Now we release Baldy. There we go. Now we've got another attack going here. Baldy in the middle. Oh, what a block guys from Kamara. Well played. It looks like, regardless of that, we have might have won the game here, lads. Just got to hold on here. And down the wing with Baldy. Can we get one more to last chance here? Ah, lucky, but that should be it. Nice 1 0. There it is. Back to back wins. Nice. Very nice indeed. A very bit of a boring game, but goals should have been a bit more in this game, I feel like. We should have had more. Regardless, but we get the win over Stevie G's Aston Villa, or as I like to say, Unai Emery's team today. I'll give it to Villa. They were decent. But we just had that one player on the pitch now that we can see on screen in Beloy with a bit of magic from him. What a finish. We hold it on to the end there. Could have scored more, but we'll definitely take the win. 1 0. We continue on. So, ladies and gentlemen, before we get into our last game of this episode, it is the moment of truth. Will J. Platt. Go up at all here. Let's have a look. He's gone up by two. Okay. It's not too bad. We'll get him on a sweeper because that's the lowest weeks there. So we'll get him on there. Plus, I guess they're defensive awareness as well. So 
not too bad. I expected, to be honest, I expected Navy to go up to 70, but it is what it is. So, also, as you can see here, I've actually looked into a couple of new players. I'll quickly show you them as well. And then we'll get into the lineups for Leicester City. Come on. So, ladies and gentlemen, on to the players that I was talking about here. As you can see, we've gone into maybe the free agents a little bit here. One that really caught my eye is Rico Lewis. And if anyone actually watches football in real life, this kid's been very good for Man City. So I'm very surprised that he is in the free agents list. I don't know what his potential is, but considering he's a free agent, you know, he could be a nice rotational player in the squad over Edwards. And also with the new formation, there is this 20-year-old 72 sensation in Cristobal Beltran here that is also free agents as well. So what we're going to do before we get into the last game I'm going to quickly sign these two and then we'll get into the lineups. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have successfully signed both of these players. Just to confirm it here, Rico Lewis, there you go. Shows great potential. Let's have a look at the development plan with him. Let's get him on, I believe. I think the defensive awareness is definitely a work on there. So, we'll get him on there. Happy days. And then also, we have got this Christian Bolt and Beltran here. That's definitely just going to be a rotational player for us. But as you can see with his stats, he looks quite a good little player i think with a winger i kind of want to get his skill moves up so we do a wide playmaker so not too bad little three signings there we'll happily take them indeed but as you can see as i mentioned the last game of this episode will be against leicester city as you can see we're step one step closer to the top 10 position there just being one point behind villa so if they slip up and we get the result against leicester that will be lovely indeed where are they sat in the league they are in fifth so not too bad. But as you can see, like I said on the, the table though, I mean if, you know, Arsenal, Everton or Villa slip up, we could be looking at top eight. You never know with the form we're in at the moment. But you never know. Let's not speak too soon. I'm a bit, a bit of a bastard for doing that. So let's get into the lineup against Leicester and hopefully end the episode with three in a row and never dub. Come on. So ladies and gentlemen, here is the lineup against Leicester today. As you can see, one player comes back in the team. He's our highest for overall, and we haven't been playing him. It is Isco Disco. We've got nothing against him, but I didn't want to change anything from the team that was winning so well. Especially with Baldi doing so well, I didn't want to drop him back into left back. So Dejamas goes out. So we've got both players back in with Isco and Baldi. Still, looking at their team here, Kulumiane, bit of a baller. We know what he can do in real life for France. Bit of a beast. Ndika at the back with Indini as a cam captain and concert at the back as well. Montreal, uh, Shrewsbury, uh, Dewsbury Hill, sorry. Not a bad looking team for Leicester. You can see why they're in the top five. But with the former in, I'm feeling confident. But let's hopefully not jinx myself. Let's get into it. So here we go. Then the last game of this episode against Leicester away. Can we end it on a 3-3? Free, free? That'd be very nice indeed. Three wins on the trot is what we're looking for here today. Just keep winning and we will avoid... I think, to be fair, we definitely would avoid relegation now. I think the points and the way we're doing, I think we can survive it, which is a brilliant news for us to stay in the Premier League for another season with more money and improving the team a lot indeed. I'm looking forward to see how Isco plays in that left mid. And I also just want to monetize uh, Paul David, a player I never probably say that. He's been a bit slacky this episode. Maybe just a bit of a blip, like I said. But we'll find out. Let's get into this game. Come on. So here we go then. First time in this episode, I'll go play in their away kit. And I'll see Leicester playing in all in blue in their home kit. Nice stadium. Obviously, they have won the Premier League in that freak season. What a crazy season that was when they won the Premier League with Ingola Kante, Mahrez Vardy. Crazy stuff. But not everything can last forever. But Baldy, great deception. He's been in tremendous form as well. Paul Davis making the run. Just couldn't... Pull it back from concert. Unlucky, a bit forced. In regards to that, it was decent indeed. Drewsbury Hall cuts inside. Almeida. There's Leicester a bit more of a high temple team. Well done from Czech. Takes him down. Well done. Leicester seem up for it. I can just tell by the way they're playing. It's a lot more snappy. You expect that with a team a bit higher up in the table indeed. Well done from Cinnamon Concori. Oh, a bit fortunate there, but we got away with it from Tibor Chip there and Kakari. He's got the pace now. Inside pass to Bly, the player in form this episode. He loses the ball a bit. Yeah, not the best there. I decided to keep him as captain because, you know, he's, he's doing well, so why not? Kakari, though, a lot of pace. There's a player to look out for. 
It's a great save from Cooper, one-on-one. -on -one. Try to finesse it into the bottom corner, but Cooper denies it. Well done indeed. Just Van Dyke there, big noise getting caught out again. Leicester looking like the most dominating team so far and the most threatening. He's warning. He goes outside the box to win us. A big chance this. And luckily, Kulamani with a bad touch. But somehow he's turned the play in Cooper again. We need a switch on at the back there. He should definitely be able to turn that play out, Kulamani. Need a switch on here. Let's just go back. Let's not rush this. Good, yeah. I mean, that's why I give the bonus to Coop. Because he pulls off saves like that. It's a joke. That's it. Let's wear out this ball up. Well done. So we check. Got a lot of room to run into the gap here. He's got to attack it. Oh, David. Ah, tried as a slipping through. Couldn't do it, though. Let's let me play this. It's a ball at the top, but that should be big Niger. Let's go back to Cooper if we have to. Well done. Well done. Play it safe. That's what we like to see. Let's go down the ball, Let's go Desco on the ball. There's a roulette there. Bold is through. Good turn. Out wide to the fullback there. Car on the back post. Who's that on the back post there? Oh, that's a brilliant finish. And it was right. It's good, Corey. There it is. The Trent and Robinson kind of linkage, but in all go again. A great ball to the back post. And what a finish from our centre mid. Unbelievable. Leicester are fuming. I don't deny, I don't blame them. We've been, they've been battered us all game. And we just go on a little tack. One cross to the back post. We've seen it. Number 30 is there. What a finish. A very hard finish there, especially from a centre mid. But wow. Great finish. Didn't expect that, to be honest. But we take it. 1 0 thanks to Kokoro. Well done. Come on. So I'll go take the 1 0 in the 36 minute thanks to a beautiful cross and an unbelievable volley, volley there from our centre mid. Just need to kind of hold on a little bit now, to be honest. And maybe brilliant. To be check, good challenge. Well done. Kokori. Well done. That's it. Look at this play. It's unbelievable. One more to Miller. Back in. Oh, look at this. This is a silly. Oh, it's just the ball. It's Miller again, isn't it? He can't help himself, can he, the poor lad? But what play that is with the Tiki Tack. He just needed that RBA to work across the box, and it literally would have been a tap in for Bloy. But what can you do there? Oh, a bit mixed up there from Leicester. Maybe a bit of panic in there. This is where they need James Manners and the save of the day, but he's probably gone to a bigger club due to rating. We take that 1 0 before the break. Leicester and Brendan Rodgers are going to be fuming, and to be honest, I do not blame them. Like I said, they've been a, they've been decent. They should have definitely scored there with that man there, Rando Kulamani. He should have definitely got a goal today. Maybe he still will. It's not right off Leicester yet. There's a reason why they're in the top five. But we take the lead away. Thanks to Kokori Volley. 1 0 at the break. I'll let you know if I make any changes. Right, ladies and gentlemen, the second half has begun. I decided to not make any changes. Everyone's doing their job. Doing A OK indeed. Just keep the ball. That's all we got to do. And attack when the gaps open. Let's go. Nice hold up. Set. Oh, I tried to go with in there, but didn't work out. We lost the possession. Unlucky indeed. She was winning. Oh, I tried to go from there. Let's go. Well done. Well done. That's that experience there coming into play. And here comes Baldi. Got an assist in his previous games this, in this episode. Ah, he's trying to play back to Piero there. Let's go. Doing the defensive work. Well done. Covering that position whilst the fullback goes up in the attack. Lovely stuff indeed. Can that wide. Can get that there. Unlucky. We went for the side tackle. Let's not draw out Van Dyke. Let's just grab a player. Unless they're doing well here, but Eskut does well, but we don't like them situations. Oh, we need to go in. Kyle. Oh, uh, get out. Oh, well done. I can't speak. Squeaky bum time. Closing, closing, bowling there, so we'll take our time. Lovely play from our goal this. Done. Let's go. 
Close to the Paul. Look at the strength from Paul. Ah, just tried to bounce past Conte as well, but we just couldn't do it. Well done. A great ball over the top. We've got that though. Well done. Beloy on the ball now. Well play from Beloy. Well done. Goes back to Beloy. On the volley here. Oh, it's a great save. Well done indeed. Unlucky from our skipper today. Unlucky indeed. What's the uh, substitution? Into Jamas on Frisco. Why not? Hey. They can both do the job by bowling into Jamas in that middle. So, uh, on that left, sorry. Well, I suppose it is the middle as well, isn't it? But, you know what I mean. Mario, let's get this ball in. I'm looking for Kakari here. Oh, and that's gone to Polite again. Ooh. I'm looking for Kakari to swing a better one in there. Didn't do that indeed. I was looking for really Scalvini, but it wasn't the best cross. But here come Leicester here. I need to get a better lock on it. Oh, it's a great ball, didn't it? Oh, big ball watching there. It's a great save from Cooper. I've got to say, I think Cooper's my man of the match if we keep the clean sheet here today. Put you on for Kakari. I'll go get him behind their players just to say, hold on a little bit more. The clock is ticking. It's a great ball in the box and Cooper again. Unbelievable. What's another sub? Why not? Let's get fresh legs on. Cooper really stepping up this game. Man, the match performance so far. One from Miller. Well done indeed from the young lad. Here we go, though. He's got loads of pace. Unbelievable, just keep running. Go on, lad. Look at this. Oh, unlucky. We just pushed it too wide and Dika picks it up. Lovely. If we were smart, which I'm not, I'm an idiot. We should have ran it to the corner. Hopefully, we'll go up to the defence a bit. We've just got to try and hold on a little bit more. We'd love if we could pick up the episode today with three wins. I'll wait for the tactical. It's not good. Well done, good block. Let's get it out. Well done, that's got to be it. And there it is, I think the first time in the Premier League this season we have picked up three games and three wins for the Mighty Argo. Well done indeed. Everyone deserves a power back, especially my man of the match in Cooper today. He pulled off some worldly saves. As you can see, Leicester are fuming. I don't, I don't, like I said, I don't blame them. They should have definitely done a lot better. The second half, it was very quiet the whole game. Second half, it was just oh, oh, Leicester just didn't show up today, but we did. Thanks to Kokori in the first half, of one 0 we continue on. Here we go. I've then. just got a couple of questions I want to ask you about the match. Into the questions, Sam. It's been a remarkable run. Blue Frog are unbeaten so far since the start of the. Oh, here we go. Start of the Premier League. Apparently, we're unbeaten. Typical EA being idiots. Are you coming? You can avoid defeat again. Uh. We're looking stronger and stronger. We are. This formation, that is it. It has ticked. We're even doing pretty well against the bigger sides. You're probably saying, hey, Leicester's not really a massive side. But, hey, I mean, in this career, top five team in the Prem. Very nice indeed. Uh, did uh, that seem like a game of two halves? Uh, you have to be strong in the both parts of the game. Yeah, I don't really know what to comment about that. I mean, like I said, I think Argyle did well. I think we took our chance when it came. Kakari and that was pretty much it, really. That's why she beat Leicester City, is it? Oh, fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. It's all about the players, let's just say that. Let's get that team morale still, I'm very happy. But it is, it's all about the boys, especially one man today in Cooper. Thank you for your time, really appreciate Wordy that. That's all the questions we from have him. for you. Questions over though, let's continue on. So, and ladies and gentlemen, we are going to wrap up this episode here. Very good today. What more can I say? Three games, three wins. Can we continue on? Maybe not. <laughs> because the next game, we are against the league leaders, I believe. Or is it Man U still? I'm not too sure. Wow. I'll tell you what, I did not expect that. Man City are in fourth position. I really did not expect that at all. So maybe there is hope indeed. But as you can see, we are in 10th spot. But I mean, if you look from... Our position to Leicester, it's only seven points between it. So anything could happen. Imagine we get European football. Wow, that would be unbelievable for the next season. As you can see as well from the relegation from 18th to 10th, I mean, the margin 
is a joke. It's like 15 points, isn't it, if I'm asked correct. So I feel like we are comfortable to survive this season in the Premier League, which is brilliant news. We can work on from next season and get higher and higher in the table and our players can grow as well. So yeah, overall, a very good episode today indeed on the performance side. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you did like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.